The subject of this video is the Office 365 desktop versus web applications and what's best for you. Let's uh, open up the applications, go to 365, click on the waffle, then you can click on each app. So we have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and One, OneNote. We also have web versions of Teams and Outlook and OneDrive, but those won't be discussed during this video. So looking at the presentations, that's the user interface. Now, the way that they have approached it is they've included the, the most of the functionality that people use, which is probably about 20% of the overall functionality and feature subset. And you can see that Word is the same way. So you're probably asking, you know, what are the differences aside from the user interface? Well, there are several. And I'm going to go through a document that shows you what the differences are. So here's the service description document from Microsoft. Typically what I run into are problems where someone on a team in a, in a business area works with the desktop versions and they complete, create very you know, complex files using a lot of the features. And people that um, use the web version, the file just won't open. It could be the 100 meg file limit. It could be um, captions. It, it, there could be calculations, other different things that um, the web app just doesn't support. So when you're working with desktop versus web apps, it's probably important to say to yourself, you know, am I going to be working with other people on this document? What kind of device am I using? Uh, how large is the file going to be? Am I going to just use some basic functions like tables, bullets, headings, and some other basic functions? Or are we going to create documents that are very complex and use many of the features? and therefore won't work on the web. So if you're in a team that's creating documents like that, what you might want to do is um, talk about what um, version of the apps you're going to use for certain documents. And I guess a general rule might be that if it's team documents, use the desktop app. If it's personal documents that are going to be quick and simple documents, use the web version. It really comes up comes down to what you prefer to do and, and working with your team to decide what's best. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click like and subscribe. Thanks.